Hey everyone, my name is Simon and I'm a developer at Kyber Network. Today I'll be going through our workshop repo. <coughs> the workshop repo pretty much contains all the necessary files for you to try out some of the Kyber contracts in your local machine. Uh, before I begin, maybe let me run through the structure of our workshop repo and to highlight a few things that I think everybody should take note of. So the four main, um, the four important folders that everybody should be aware of is the config folder, the contracts folder, the examples folder, and the migrations folder. So in the config folder, what you find is the configuration files that is used during the migration of our Kyber contracts into your local machine. So for example, in network.json, these are the parameters that will be used by the Kyber network contract when being deployed and so on. Similarly for tokens.json. Um, next, we have contracts. So in the contracts folder, what you would find is the contracts that would be used in my demonstration later. But also note that these are the same set of contracts that are currently being deployed. <coughs> they are currently deployed on our main net. Um, a point I think I want to highlight is the examples folder. So in the examples folder, what you can find are example smart contracts that have been already written and will be used in my demonstration a little later. So we go back. So next up is the examples folder. So we broke the examples folder into three different groups. We have the Solidity examples smart contract. <coughs> We have a uh, truffle example files, and we also have some web three example files. So depending on what kind of or, or how you want to do your testing, you can choose to write a, a, a new contract, or you can choose to write a JS file and test it using truffle, or you can write an, also a JS file and test it using web three, uh, test it using node, I mean. Uh, lastly, we have the migrations folder. For those who have not used Truffle, the migrations folder specifies the, the different migration scripts that will be need, that, that is necessary to deploy your contracts. So in this case, we are using 18 different migrations scripts to deploy the entire the entire Kyber network contract into your local machine. <clears throat> okay, so uh, before we begin, let us ensure that we have the necessary prerequisites involved. So the three prerequisites that are that are required are Node, Ganache, and Truffle. So let us go, uh, first navigate to nodejs.org. So Node, open a new tab. So the this is the latest version of Node. I would personally download the LTS version. Uh, I've read. I already have Node installed, so I won't be downloading this. But just choose the correct. Uh, platform uh, the correct operating system and just download accordingly and then once you have set it up if you were to run this command into your terminal you should get something like that <coughs> okay so next what we want to do is we want to install uh, ganache CLI globally to uh, to your machine so ganache CLI is uh, Oh, sorry. Ganache CLI is used to run like a local instance of a blockchain uh, in, into your machine. And that when it's, it's useful when you're trying to do like quick testing and stuff like that. So once installed, you can run something like Ganache CLI version to check the version of the, the version of the Ganache CLI that has been installed. Then next we want to install Truffle. So uh, we can just copy the first part. We don't really need the add latest flag because this will automatically install the latest version of Truffle. <coughs> similarly, oh yeah, similarly we're trying to install Truffle uh, globally. So once Truffle has been installed, you can do like Truffle version to check that to, to ensure that Truffle is actually installed. So as you can see here, I installed version 5.0.10 with Solidity version 0 0.5 and this is my Node version and this is my Web3 version. Okay, so next what we want to do is we want to clone the workshop repo, right? So go all the way up here, copy this, 
ืมไปดู git clone and we're cloning the workshop repo uh, so the next step is to install the rest of the npm packages so what you have to do is we have to cd into the workshop repo and then we do npm install so while I let this install let me just go through some of the things that we, we need to know so there's actually uh, so this is the like an overview of the different files in the workshop repo um, like described earlier these are the four main folders that uh, if you need to do any tweaking or testing this is where you would put them or, or this is these are the four folders that you interact with so there there's actually two different ways you can uh, interact with the the kyber contracts so the first way is to to run a ganache snapshot the, pro the only the only downside to running the ganache snapshot is that you will not be able to to do uh you will not be able to use truffle execute to run any files <clears throat> so in this case i would i would personally prefer to deploy from scratch so let me just copy this okay it's okay just give it some time and yeah okay cool install so i paste this in and this is gonna run so i'm just gonna go through the parameters right so this is gonna run ganache ci with 10 accounts with a default balance ether of a thousand per account and this is the mnemonic that we are using so and this is the network id the network id is, is the network id is <coughs> um the network id is over here i think yeah there network id okay anyway um yeah so the we, we're using a mnemonic so that we we can determine the the contract addresses beforehand right so in this case like i already know before uh even before deploying uh, i already know even before migrating the contracts that my user wallet address is this because I've done it before and because I'm using the same mnemonic, it always give me the same user address, right? Um, so once this is running, what you want to do is open a new tab and you want to do truffle migrate, sorry, migrate network development. Uh, so what it's doing right now, it's, it, it, it's, it's going to go through the migrations folder and it's going to run the, the 18 different scripts that is in the migrations folder to, to to migrate or to deploy the contract into your local instance of the ganache that is running over here okay um yep so this will take some time so once this is completed we'll continue Okay, cool. So, uh, it hasn't completed, but currently it's deploying the contract. So if you see something like this, it's pretty much you're you're pretty much on the right track. Uh, so for example, let, let's just take a look at the first one. So as you can see, we're running the number one initial migrations, and it's deploying the migrations contract. This is the transaction hash block number. Tells you like how much gas is used, what's the gas price, what's the total cost, and so on. Okay, now let's just wait for all 18 scripts to be run.
Okay, so once it's done, you should get a summary of the different contracts, right? So as you can, you can double check, admin contract has been deployed to uh, this address. The, the operator has this address, the letter has this address, the wallets, you have the user address, reserve, tax, Bob, Alice, and so on and so on. So when you get something like that, it means that your your migration has been successful. Uh, your migration is successful, and we can proceed with the next step of the, the demonstration. So you know how earlier I told you that there are um, three different uh, there are three different ways you can interact with our workshop, right? So there's the Solidity, there's Truffle, and there's Web Three. So next, I'm going to show you how to uh to 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 run this files okay so let's clear this <clears throat> so if if say we wanted to use truffle to test it we would do truffle exec examples um truffle and let's just say i do like something like get expected rate so what it what this is this is currently running the get expected read uh javascript file using truffle so i'm just going to go through step by step one and once it's done so Mm, yep, as you can see, so this is the Kibonel proxy address. So over here, we, we basically all we're doing in, in the file is just console logging. So here we are just getting the expected rate between ETH to KNC. Like there's an expected rate of this amount, there's a slippy rate of this amount. Similarly, for uh, well, the, the same for KNC to ETH, and then ETH, uh, KNC to Omisego, ETH to Mana, Mana to ETH, and so on and so on. Right, so if you prefer to use a node, what you can do is you what you have to do is you have to cd into, uh, into the web tree, and then you run something like node get expected rate. Again, it will do the exact uh, okay, it do exactly the same thing as what you did using truffle. But uh, there are some reasons why you might use truffle. I'll talk talk about them later. So the the last one is on solidity, right? How how you how you can run or how you can interact with the solidity files. So what you do is you, well, you have to go into something known as a truffle console. So the reason why some people use truffle is because uh, when when you build or when you compile and migrate the files, these artifacts are already exposed in truffle. So you don't have to like redeclare them again. Basically, it just makes uh, like quick uh, testing really fast. So so in this example, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to do a uh, KNC to uh, a trade from KNC to Omisego using one of the, the smart contracts. So the smart contract that I'll be using is called the trade contract. So let me show you. Um, see contracts, examples. Yeah, so you can see over here, there's a trade contract. So this is the contract that is already deployed to your local Ganache snapshot and if you can see from over here, um, let me find, this is the contract address, right? So if you want to look at the code, you can also open it up or you can just do less. So, yeah, so in the trade contract, there's an event, this is the constructor and th there's only one function, which is execute swap, right? This is the function that we'll be calling later where we are going to convert from KNC token to Omisego token. Okay, cool. So back here, so the way we do it is, well, basically what we do, we use JavaScript in here as well, pretty much. So as you can see, our user wallet is this, right? So let us first define, now wait, let us first do a task. So our task is to convert some KNC to Omisego. Let's just say 100. Okay. So console log. I mean, this is just for fun. Anyway. So next we we declare or we define our user wallet. So user wallet. Okay. And now we need because the the trade contract has already been deployed onto the Ganache uh to, to Ganache, right? What you want to do is you want to get an instance of it. So you do is you want to do something like let trade instance is equals to await trade. You must make sure don't forget to use the await. Await is very important. Uh, in the trade dot address. So now, if you if you do click trade instance, you get something like that. So when if this is if you can get if if when you when you type when you run trade instance and you get something like that, that means you're on the right track. 
So next up, we want to do, uh, we also want to get the Omisigo because we're trying to trade between, so our goal was to trade, sorry, our task was to convert 100 KNC to Omisigo, right? So what we want to do is we want to check the balance of uh, our KNC and our Omisigo token before the trade and then to check the balance again just to show that the tokens has, the, the trade is actually successful. Okay, so what we do is we do Omisigo in, let our uh, Omisigo instance instance -E equals to await Omisigo and then let KNC instance equals to await uh, Kyber Network Crystal at Kyber Network Crystal address Right, so now what we do is we want to check the balance. So let KNC uh, initial A. KNC balance 1 is equals to uh, await KNC instance dot balance of uh, user wallet. The reason why we are using two string is because, uh, oh crap, I did a typo. Anyway, the reason why we, we are using two string is because uh, we're just trying to show what the big number is, right? And then we do the same for Omisigo. Await Omisigo instance balance of user wallet. Right, so if I were to do, I mean, you don't have to, we can just do it like that. So as you can see, we have a million KNC. So this is, this is a million KNC represented in token way. Because KNC has 18 decimals, right? So this is how many KNC that we have in token way. Similarly for Omisigo balance. So we have a thousand KNC, uh, a million KNC balance. Eh? Is it a million? Yeah, a million KNC balance and a million uh, Omisigo balance. Wait, or maybe it's a thousand. Uh, anyway, basically you get my point. Uh, so next, what we want to do is for us to perform a token to token trade, we need to approve the contract that uh, we need to give sufficient allowance to our contract in order to move the funds for us, right? So in this case, what I want to do is I want to approve my trade contract and give it sufficient allowance to move uh, KNC on my behalf and do the trading. So, await uh, KNC instance dot approve. Let's approve the trade instance. Also, don't don't approve the the trade instance. You have to approve the address. Uh, then we do web three dot utils dot to wait. So here we are giving one two three four five six. Here we are giving the trade instance contract an allowance of a million KNC, um, and then we have to specify for which for which owner. So if you get. The transaction receipt pretty much means it means it's successful. Um, then next up is the actual trade, right? So what we do is we do trade instance, because remember earlier I know that it's called execute swap. And I can just show it to you again. So you can see execute swap takes in five parameters: source token, source quantity, destination token, destination address, and max destination amount. So what we do is. <coughs> Since we're converting from KNC to Omisigo, KNC is our source. <coughs> KNC is our source token. So KNC instance address and then wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, it's to convert hundred KNC. So what you wanna do is you wanna do trade instance. Dot execute swap. KNC instance dot address. Again, we're using the utils function to wait. So we're trying to convert 100 KNC to Omisigo. So next, we want to specify our destination token. So Omisigo instance the address, and then we specify the recipient, right? As you can see over here, the fourth, the fourth parameter is destination address. So in this case, I want to send it to myself. And the last one is what we know, what we call a max destination amount. So basically, what max destination amount is is that it. It lets you specify or, or like give a hard cap to to the max destination amount that can be traded for. Um, so for example, if you do not know how much source quantity you need, but you know the max destination the, the destination amount and it's fixed, then you can specify that as the max destination amount. 
in this case for us, we're just gonna give a very large amount. I'm just gonna give the full allowance. So rep three dot utils dot two way. So it's a million one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh once this is done, you wanna you have to specify from who, use a wallet, and run. Okay. So if you get something like this. Uh, again, it pretty much means you're successful. So what you want to do now is to verify that the trade has actually happened. So we would get the balance again. So remember our balance one. Our KNC balance, original balance is like, oh, wait, let me just count. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so a million KNC and a million Omisego, right? So, um, now if we were to do the, if we were to try to get the balance again, let's just do Omisego balance 2 and let's just do KNC balance 2. Wait, what? Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is the one that the error. Okay, so as you can see, uh, you can see balance one was originally this. Now, can see balance two is this. So what we did was we converted a hundred KNC into Omisigo, and similarly, Omisigo balance one is this. Omisigo balance two is this. And there you go. This is how you would interact with the Solidity examples using a uh, Truffle console. And that's pretty much like the end of my demonstration. Um, there are additional uh, instructions here on how to, for example, if you want to add a new ERC20 token, what you, what you should need to do, like for example, you create your own mock token contract uh, in the mock tokens folder, and then you just configure some files everything is everything is pretty much explained in the workshop you just have to uh, follow them so if you want to deploy a reserve there's another another automated price reserve here and there's an I think there's a last one for order book reserve as well and you know if you need more help you can always look for us in the Kyber developer telegram group or you can also take a look at our developer portal Developer portal is very very useful. Like for example, if I want to figure out if I want to know how to integrate my DAP, I can just click on the DAP integration guide, and it will just show me like what if I want to do like a loose a loose token conversion or a precise token conversion, um, or if you're trying to use like the Kyber widget and so on. So like this is where you get the different references. Like if you want to know more about the function signature. So like for example, let's just do get expected rate. So this is a function in the Kyber network contract and this is how the function signature looks like. Uh, you could also search if you wanted to find something like for example, if I want to do trade, maybe if I want to use trade in the wallet integration guide. So yeah, so the developer portal is very useful. Uh, if you cannot find anything here, you can always ask us in the developer telegram group. Okay, uh, thank you for taking the time out and watching this video. I'll see you again.